Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to get on and show you a quick little tutorial on how to make some like size slanted pockets. Um, the video probably won't be too long today because we are having a lot of wind here and I'm hoping I don't lose internet or electricity during our video today. So like always, we're going to start out in Microsoft Word. I've already set up the page in landscape with zero margins, and this is kind of what we're going to work on today. So it's it's actually a really simple um, thing to make. So we're going to go to insert, and we're going to do sheets today for the pictures. So we're going to go up here on the left hand side to sheets. We're going to left click, and we're going to use just a regular rectangle or you can use a square, and then we're going to insert that shape. So we're just going to left click and drag our shape. And then we're going to right click on it, and we're going to do edit point. So this is going to change the outline of the box to red, and we're going to see a change in the little corners. The little corners now are black squares. So I want to make a slanted pocket like this. So I'm just going to hover over that, I'm going to left click, and I'm going to drag it to whatever shape I want. And then I'm going to uh, let go of the left click. So now I have a slanted pocket. So now we want to change this color in the center of our pocket. We're going to click on it. We're going to go to Shape Format. We're going to go to Shape Fill. And we're going to go to Picture. We're going to go from a file. And then we're going to select the picture. So I don't want to fill. Let's do, we'll do this background. Here we go. We'll insert that. And now we have this beautiful background perfectly shaped inside of our shape. So now we want to add some other elements to it. So we're going to go to insert like always. We're going to go to pictures. And we are going to find an image that we want to put on our pocket. So I think I'm going to go with uh, I like this. Let's see what this looks like on it. So our picture is behind everything. We're going to bring it forward. We're going to go and remove our background. And let's see what we get. So it took a lot of our image away. So we're going to mark areas to or sorry, mark areas to keep. So I want to bring my butterfly back. I want to bring some of my flowers back in. I'm wondering if this image is going to go okay with the background that I chose from my pocket. So I'm working on a flower fairy journal for my mother-in-law. Her favorite thing is fairies and flowers. And I thought those were a nice combination. So I'm just slowly drawing that. So we're going to put this back in. Let's put this back in. All right, so we're going to tell it to keep changes. And then we're going to grab our corner and we're going to pull it to the size we want it. Yeah, it don't show up too well, does it? Bigger. So, and then we can also change the transparency of our background like we have before. We can make it, and I kind of like the little lighter of it because it makes the flower scene out a little better. Try to just rotate it a little bit. And then, sorry if you can hear the kids in the background. They're all up and playing and having fun today. So that looks really pretty. So we'll leave that there. And then if you want to be able to copy this image and duplicate it over and over again, we're going to come up here to the left hand, or I'm sorry, the right hand side. We're going to hit select and we're going to select objects. And then we're going to, so nothing's happened. So we're going to left click and we're just going to highlight with this gray box our objects. And it's selected our background, but it did not select this one for some reason. Sometimes this gives me some trouble sometimes. I'm going to tell it 
might be need uh, bring forward let's try that again all right so we're going to select objects we're going to highlight it and we're going to go to picture format and for some reason it's not wanting to pick up that first save maybe i'm not selecting enough of it out of Sorry guys, I even still have technical difficulties sometimes. Let's try this again. There we go. I just didn't select enough of it since this frame was outside. You need to make sure you get all that. So we'll go back to picture format. We're going to go over here on the right hand side. We're going to left click to group and we're going to tell it to group it. Now all of our pictures when we move it and I have apologize in my past videos I have forgot to show you guys that um, it was brought to my attention um, by someone that I watched or watched my videos and then I actually wrote it down on notes and had it in front of me to make sure that I showed you guys that step because now it makes it very very simple you right click you're going to tell it to copy and then you're going to tell it to paste and now you have a duplicate of that without having to bring the images and replace them so that is the pockets and I do want to show you guys real quick since that didn't take very long we're going to go to shapes again and then we're going to play around let me find it uh, we're going to use the arrow which is the one I used wrong way sorry about that I've been playing around with a lot of different designs so let's go back to insert, let's go to shapes, and I don't edit my videos, so you guys are going to see everything that I do, all of my trial and error, because I am an experienced person that uses Microsoft Word, and I still forget different things, try to remember the different processes of things, and I want you guys to see that, because when you work with, you know, computer systems and Word, you know you're going to have to play around with things and see what works and what doesn't work and there'll be things you'll be like how did i do that the last time i don't remember and it's just a just stuff you gotta play around with so let me find there's a really good shape that you can use for banners doing the same thing i did um changing but changing the um points of it and I'm trying to remember. Is it this one? All right, let's just go with this. We're going to rotate it. We'll shrink it down a little. So on here, obviously, it don't look like a banner right now. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to right click, edit points. We're going to pull in our bottom point here, and we're going to drag it up. And there might be a better way to do banners. This is the way I have always just done them. Um, this is the way I have made them. Um, anybody is can offer suggestions or comments if they have better ways of doing this. This is just what's always worked for me and how I've always done things and um, played around with things. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to go to shape fill, we're going to go to picture from a file, and let's go back up here, let's go to some of my background pages, and we can put this pretty bird in here, and we can leave it like that, we can leave it exactly like that, um, you can add more details to it, um, but they are really fun to make and to uh, play around with to make your own digital pockets and your own digital banners. So, I mean, you can do those same same steps with any of these images on here. You can edit these, or I'm sorry, not images, shapes. You can edit these shapes any way you would like. Um, the basic shapes are really fun to play with. Um, trying to remember. The stars are fun. The heart is really nice because you can get a nice heart image. Um, shape fill, you can go to picture. We'll just do the birds again. So you can fill that nicely with the bird image. 
So, um, I'm not liking that banner today. But yeah, so now all, everything moves around nicely on the page for you. You'll be able to move things without having to, to double the first move the background image and then move, you know, your image on top by having them grouped. And like I said, I'm really sorry for not showing you that before. I'm still really new to all of this and I do still get a little nervous doing these videos because um, I want to make it as easy for you guys as possible. Um, I want you guys to be able to play around with this. Um, the last time I did show you guys how to do some tags, so we played around with some tags. Um, if there's anything else in particular you guys would like to see, um, here's the proper image now, I finally see it. So this is the one that works best for the banners. And this one's called, so I can tell you real quick, shapes. This one is called the flowchart off page connector. What's really nice is shapes that you've recently used will be up here um, throughout your project while you're working on it. So that way you can easily come back to it and select another. So we're going to just do the same thing. We're going to right click. We're going to edit point. We're going to push this up. And then we're going to insert pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. We are not going to insert a picture yet. We are going to shape format. And we're going to do shape fill. And we're going to tell it picture from a file. And let's see what background we want to use. We can do more of the music sheets. Fill that in there. So that we got the image for that. And then if we want to make an the same one to match our pocket. We'll just go to insert pictures. We're gonna do what I have in my junk journal. I tried to organize all of my stuff into um, folders, but I'm still trying to re-navigate those um, folders. So let's do our sunflower. We're gonna tell it to insert. We're gonna bring it to the front. We're gonna remove background. And we're going to mark areas to keep. And then I want to show you guys something. I already have this one saved, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Once you cut an image out, you can actually save that image so you don't have to recut it out every time. All right, so this is the image I want to keep. So I'm going to tell it to keep changes. Now I'm going to right click and we're going to save as picture. And then we're going to tell it where we want to save it. So like I was just in my flowers. I already have one there. I called it cut sunflower because this is my original sunflower. So I renamed it cut sunflower. So that way if I want to use that sunflower as a cutout, I already have it. Or if I want it as a full background page, then I have both images now. So I'm not going to resave it again. But that is how you can save that cut image so you don't have to cut it out each time. So we're going to make our flower smaller. And we're going to place it on our banner. Make it as weird as possible. All right, and then we're going to, let me slide this down just a little so I can make sure I select all of them to group it. And we're going to go to select objects. We're going to select everything inside that gray box. And then we're going to go to picture format and we are going to group those together. So now it's one movable. So we'll right click, I want to copy it, and I'm going to paste another one. And I think maybe we can fit one more on here. And like always, this um, project will be in the Google Docs, so that way you guys all have access to it and can print them off if you would like to have a copy of them. Um, they're always free for my viewers. So that's how we make some digital pockets we even threw a heart in there today and banners so i actually got a little more in there today than what i thought and if you want to since it's all grouped together if you want to make your banner a little longer you can as well so so now we want to save it so we're just going to file save as um i put them all in my uploads and we'll do pockets and then i'm going to save and then i also want to save it as a pdf so that way people that um can't do the Word documents that want to print them. So I'm going to do save again. 
I want it in my uploads. So it's already in uploads and then it says pockets. But we're going to click here where it says save as type and we're going to tell it a PDF. And now we're going to save it. So now I have it saved as a Word document and a PDF. So then that way I can upload it for people to print off that are unable to print from Word. So if you want to share with other people that don't have Microsoft Word, that is how you can do that. So I just want to thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. I always have fun making these and sharing these ideas with you guys. If there's anything in particular you want to see, um, I know we've covered tags, we've covered pages, we've done pockets, we've done banners. Um, there's also artistic effects that we can do, um, like on this image, if that's something you guys are interested in. We can go to picture format. Artistic effects does some really cool different things to the image. Like, that's really pretty. Um, I mean, there's some that get really crazy. But, I mean, like, that's even cool. You're taking the regular image and changing it completely. So, and it does it all for you. And that's what I really like about, like, that's really pretty. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Um, so, if that's something you guys are interested in or even playing around with the colors, we can do that. Like, if you're working on a journal that is a specific color, we can play around with that. Um, we just got all kinds of different tones that we can make our picture and stuff. And there's all kinds of other things that we can set on that picture. So, um, please keep your comments coming. Please share, like, and subscribe so that way you guys um, don't miss out on these videos and the freebies that I share with you guys. If there's a particular journal type that you're working on, please let me know so that way I can try to find some images for you guys.